Magandang umaga mga kapatid. Welcome once again to our daily morning devotion. I hope and pray na lahat po tayo ay masaya, mapayapa, habang tayo ay nag-aral ng salita ng Panginoon. At the same time, our prayer focus for today is about our nation. And also we lift up all the government agencies na namumuno sa ating bansa. And at the same time, we also pray for our Uh, church leaders, our pastors, our uh, the evangelists, the apostles, the prophets, all the biblical Bible teachers, at lahat-lahat ng mga leaders. Ganun din po mga leaders sa lahat ng uh, namumuno sa bansa natin. So, before we start, uh, I'm so blessed kasi nung nanood ako nung uh, first cabinet meeting ni uh, President Uh, Bongbong Marcos together with this uh, cabinet team and nag, bago sila nag, bago sila nag uh, meeting, nanalangin po sila which was been led by uh, Vice President Sara Duterte. So, napakaganda po na titignan po natin lahat ng mga government agencies pag ganun ang ginagawa ay uh, natutuwa ang Panginoon dahil inuuna nila ang Panginoon sa lahat ng mga decision making So, we thank the Lord for their lives at ngayon po, uh, hayaan natin na magkaisa tayo, na manalangin sa ating mga namumuno sa ating gobyerno. And at the same time, we also pray for all our church leaders, especially the pastors, the apostles, the evangelists, the teachers, at lahat ng mga, uh, uh, mga lingkod ng Panginoon na patuloy na naglilingkod sa ubasan ng ating Panginoon. At bago tayo mag let's uh, open this uh, devotion with a prayer. Father God in heaven, we bless your name, we glorify your name on high, O oh God. Tunay nga po, Panginoon, napakabuti mo sa buhay ng bawat isa sa amin. Maraming salamat po dahil binuksan mo muli ang aming mga mata to see the beauty of your creation. Binigyan mo kami ng bagong pag-asa bagong buhay sa araw-araw. Sa ngayon, dinudulog po namin ang aming uh, Bansang Pilipinas. Ikaw na po, Panginoon, ang maghari at patuloy na ikaw pa rin, Lord, ang nakaloklok sa trono ng bansa ng aming uh, Bansang Pilipinas. And at the same time, oh God, tulungan mo rin po kami na magkaroon kami ng initiative to pray for our leaders, not only uh, our uh, government leaders, also we pray for all the church leaders. So today, Father, as we have this devotion, uh, please open our hearts, our minds spiritually so that we'll be able to understand your word that gives hope, life, direction sa ating uh, buhay, sa aming buhay, and at the same time, sa aming bansang Pilipinas. Maraming salamat po, Ama. Samahan mo kami sa uh, devotion na ito because we believe by faith that you will do great and mighty things in our lives, in our country, in every churches, and every home. We thank you, Father, for your love, your mercy, and grace that sustain us every day. And to you, Lord, we give our highest praise, highest honor, and thanksgiving. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So our scripture reading for today will be found in Psalms 33 verse 1 to 12. So our title for today is Lord of the Nation. Sing joyfully to the Lord, you righteous. It is fitting for the upright to praise Him. Praise the Lord with the harp. Make music to Him on the ten-string lyre. Sing to Him a new song. Play skillfully and shout for joy. For the word of the Lord is right and true. He is faithful in all he does. The Lord loves righteousness and justice. The earth is full of his unfailing love. By the word of the Lord, the heavens were made. Their starry host by the breath of his mouth. He gathers the waters of the sea into jars. He puts the deep into storehouses. Let all the earth fear the Lord. Let all the people of the world revere Him. For He spoke, and it came to be. He commanded, 
and it stood firm. The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purposes of His heart through all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord. The people He chose for His inheritance. So ngayon mga kapatid, babasahin ko rin siya sa Tagalog version kasi napakaganda po para ma-internalize po natin ang ibig sabihin ng Panginoon sa ating uh, bansa at patuloy natin namnamin ang kanyang mga pangako sa ating buhay, sa ating bansa at sa bawat mga uh, namumuno sa ating bansa. And at the same time, sa ating buhay din po. So dito po sinasabi sa Salmo uh, 33, versikulo 1 hanggang 12. Ito ay awit ng paburi. Kayong mga matuwid, sumigaw kayo sa galak dahil sa ginawa ng Panginoon. Kayong namumuhay ng tama, nararapat ninyo siyang purihin. Pasalamatan ninyo ang Panginoon sa pamamagitan ng mga alpa at mga instrumentong may mga kwerdas. Awitan niyo siya ng bagong awit. Tugtugan niyo siya ng buong husay at sumigaw kayo sa tuwa. Ang salita ng Panginoon ay matuwid at maasahan ang kanyang mga gawa. Ninanais sa Panginoon ang katwiran at katarungan. Makikita sa buong mundo ang kanyang pagmamahal. Sa pamamagitan ng salita ng Panginoon, ang langit ay nalikha. Sa kanyang hininga nagmula ang araw, buwan at mga bituin. Inipon niya ang dagat na parang inilagay sa isang sisidlan. Ang lahat ng tao sa daigdig ay dapat matakot sa Panginoon. Dahil lang siya ay nagsalita, nalikha ang mundo. Siya nagutos at lumitaw ang lahat. Sinisira ang Panginoon ang mga plano ng mga bansang hindi kumikilala sa kanya. Sinasalungat niya ang kanilang binabalak. Ngunit ang mga plano ng Panginoon ay mananatili magpakailanman at ang kanyang mga balak sa salit-saling lahi ay matutupad. Mapalad ang bansa na ang Diyos ay ang Panginoon at mapalad ang mga taong pinili niya na naging kanya. This is the word of the Lord. Napaganda po, di po ba? Kapag pagbulay-bulayan natin ang salita ng Panginoon, nagbibigay ito ng kalakasan sa ating buhay, nagbibigay itong uh, direksyon sa ating buhay, lalong-lalo na tinutukoy dito yung uh, ating uh, pagtitiwala sa ating Panginoon, sa pagtitiwala ng kanyang mga salita, pagtitiwala sa lahat ng kanyang mga pangako. Dahil sinabi nga dito, sa, sinabi niya sa Sa verse 10, sinabi niya, sinisira ng Panginoon ang mga plano ng mga bansang hindi kumikilala sa kanya. Sinasalungat niya ang kanilang mga binabalak. Ngunit, sabi niya sa verse 11, ngunit ang mga plano ng Panginoon ay mananatili magpakailanman at ang kanyang mga balak sa salit-saling lahi ay matutupad. Praise be to God. Napakaganda po na kapag ang bansa po natin ay Nandun ang pakikilala natin, ang Panginoon sa ating buhay, sa ating bansa, sa lahat-lahat ng aspeto ng ating buhay. Surely, the Lord will always uh, give us that uh, uh, blessing that comes from Him. Nandun lagi yung pangako niya na He will always dare for us. He will always dare to uh, the favor, His But, uh, glorious presence will always be with us. At nandun lagi yung pangako niya na uh, He will always be there na patuloy tayong gagabayan, tutulungan in every decision making, sa lahat-lahat ng aspeto ng ating buhay, lalo na yung mga namumuno, sa ating gobyerno, sa ating bansa. Nandun lagi yung uh, gabay niya at tulong niya, lalo na sa mga decision making nila para sa ating Uh, bansang Pilipinas. And also, at the same time, hindi lang po sa bansang Pilipinas, kundi throughout the whole world, kapag kinikilala natin ang Panginoon sa ating buhay. Dahil sinabi niya sa verse 12, di ba sabi niya, Blessed is the nation 
whose God is the Lord, the people He chose for His inheritance. So, ngayon mga kapatid, let's continue praying for our uh, nation, praying for our government leaders, also our church leaders, at patuloy natin idulog ito sa ating Panginoon. Heavenly Father, as we worship and glorify your most precious name, we exalt you, magnify you above the heavens and above the earth. We thank you so much for your loving kindness and faithfulness that endures forever. Please forgive us from all our inequities, our transgressions, as we claim by faith your promise in 1 John 1, 9, if we confess our sins, you are always just and faithful to forgive us and purify us from all our unrighteousness. So today, Father, as we lift up our nation to your perfect hands, we pray for your Holy Spirit to empower all our government officials, from our president down to the Senate, Congress, mayors, counselors, barangay captains, and all those who are selflessly serving the welfare of your people. May they govern your people with joy, love, peace, and righteousness. We thank you for all their lives. May they find strength, spiritual knowledge, and wisdom in all their decision makings that are aligned to your perfect will. As you fulfill your plan and purpose of every country and the whole nation as well. We also pray for all the families who have been affected by calamities, especially for the past earthquake. May they find comfort, strength from you, O Lord, as you provide all their needs. Please continue to strengthen their faith in you, that they will find hope, peace, and joy in your glorious presence. We thank you, Father, because we can come to you even our difficulties assuring us that in you alone we find the true meaning of life with a purpose. Please continue to restore every families and may they find the joy of their salvation as they trust in you. We thank you for all the government agencies who are always there to help in times of calamities. Continue to give them the knowledge and wisdom spiritually so that they will be able to decide according to your will and purpose in the lives and for the lives of your people. We also pray for all churches that they will be united with your love as they rise and shine to declare your goodness and faithfulness to all nations. As we claim your promise in Matthew 28, 18 to 20, then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey every commandment I have commanded you. And surely I'll be with you at the very end of age. We pray also for all the church leaders, our pastors, teachers, apostles, evangelists, and the prophets. Please empower them with your spiritual anointing, knowledge, and spiritual wisdom as the shepherd your people with integrity, love, joy, and righteousness. Please continue to provide all their needs and they may find fresh revelations and visions from you alone. Please protect them from any harm and from any deceitful strategies from the enemy. As we declare by faith your promise in 1 John 4, 4, You dear children are from God and have overcome them because the one who's in you is greater than the one who is in the world. We thank you so much for their lives. May they find joy in serving you as you continue to bless them every areas and aspect of their lives together with their respective families. Let your grace and love abound in us as we commit to honor Christ and His great commission. As your holy name be known to all nations and accept you as their personal Lord and Savior in their lives. Let your light shine upon us as we declare to all nations that you are the King of kings and the Lord of lords, 
and every knee shall bow and confess in their lips that you are the one true living God. Above all, Father, we thank you so much for your amazing love and faithfulness that endures forever. With a grateful heart, we give you all our highest praises, highest honor, and thanksgiving for what you have done and you are still doing in our lives and our nations for your greater glory and honor. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. So mga kapatid, let's continue praying for our country, our nation, our government officials dahil sila po ang kinilaga ng Panginoon sa ating buhay. So we continue to submit unto them and even not only our government leaders, also our church leaders, we continue to submit, respect, and honor them. And continue to always uh, uh, pray for them na patuloy na gabayan at i-bless ng Panginoon ang kanilang mga buhay. We thank you, Father God, and we thank you, mga kapatid, sa pagsama niyo muli sa ating devotion and hope and pray na makakasama kayo ulit sa mga susunod pa na ating mga prayer focus. And I do believe by faith that God will do great and mighty things in our lives dahil sinabi niya sa John 14, 14, ask anything in the name of Jesus and He will do it. Maraming salamat po kapatid and hope and pray na patuli tayo na nandun palagi yung pananampalataya natin at pagtitiwala natin sa Panginoon dahil ang Diyos ay tunay na mapagmahal, tunay na makapangyarihan sa lahat. If God is with us, who can be against us? And nothing is impossible to God, to those who put their trust in Him. So ayun po mga kapatid, hope and pray na patuloy din po kayo uh, nasamahan po kami sa mga uh, different uh, activities sa uh, 8 o'clock habit every 8 p.m. from Monday to Saturdays and also our morning devotion every Monday to Friday. Maraming maraming salamat mga kapatid dahil patuloy kayong sumusubaybay sa ating morning daily devotion. And also during uh, Saturdays, we have the true Bible studies for the kids at uh, at 10 a.m. And also our uh, ladies Bible studies at 2 p.m. every Saturday. And also our Sunday worship service every Sunday at 9 a.m. And also in the afternoon, we have the book of Genesis for the uh, women Bible study. Hope and pray na makajoin ang mga lahat ng mga kababaihan sa ating uh, uh, story of Genesis in uh, every 3 p.m. every Sunday. And also uh, our Allah Youth also every other Sunday. And at the same time, uh, the Men's Fellowship every Sunday also at 5 p.m. Maraming salamat po mga patid. Have a blessed day. We love you with the love of the Lord. Bye!